Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. So today we have a video on what does it mean to be a practicing Sikh. So it's very similar to who is a Sikh, but we're going to actually look at what is the responsibility that lies behind actually saying, I am a practicing Sikh. So if you look in today's world, we may hear this statement all the time, Oh, I'm a Sikh. Um, I follow Sikhi. But instead of using the word just Sikh, we want to um, take it a bit more deeper, more further. Because uh, many times people say this, but actually we don't use the word Guru Sikh. So that this means someone who's a Sikh of the Guru, because a Sikh on his own just means a learner or disciple, very basically. But a Guru Sikh is now someone who follows their Guru, who tries to apply those teachings to their lives. So just to give some very simple examples of this, we can look at certain things that we should try to be doing, and certain things that we, try, we should try not to be doing, not indulging in. So for example, if for things that we should be doing, you know, Nam Japana, we should actually, you know, try to come into Sangha, the Sal Sangha, the Du Seva, these kind of actions. And then we should refrain from the Panj Jor. And if we just look at Kaam, for example, desires, lust, trying our best to not go to a space which actually cause us to have these emotions more. And also we have uh, Nindya, for example, so slandering other people or even judging. So if you look in today's world again, or even throughout time, there's always been this case of people judging each other so quickly. But we should try our best to refrain from these as well. Now, if we take this a bit further, we have this idea of a Sejdari Sikh and an Amrdari Sikh. So a Sejdari is someone who is Sejja Sejja slowly, slowly walk in the path to one day become Amrdari or just taking small steps to get closer to Guru Sahib Ji. And they have an Amrdari, someone who is an initiated Sikh. So we have these two now. And the thing is that us as individuals, we talked about um, who is a Sikh, uh, you know, someone who says that they're Sikh now, we as an uh, individual have no right to judge someone else. They say they're Sikh, they're not. That's up to Maharaj, that's up to Guru Sahib themselves. Us ourselves, we should be focusing on ourselves, on our own Jeevan. That's why our Guru says was Nanaka Padake Aapako Ta Padaka Jan. That means that that person is a true judge. Ta Padaka Jan, know them as a true judge if they judge themselves. This is what we should be trying to do. Not looking at someone else's appearance or where they are spiritually right now as well. Just focus on ourselves. And if we take this even deeper, someone who is a Sajdari Sikh, yeah, they may drink. You know, they may go to places where they shouldn't be going to. They may cut their hair. But that doesn't mean they don't have love for the Guru. And it doesn't mean that one day they may not have so much love for the Guru, they may change their life and actually become a great influential person in the Panth as well. There's many examples, we won't go through them because um, there's so many that we can name. But I'm sure um, someone watching this video can even think of someone in their family or in their son who's completely changed for being a person who has done the most, you know, craziest things in the world but now they're actually coming to Sikhi and they're leading an organization or they're leading a Sangat and bringing them close to Guru Sahib Ji as well. But let's imagine right now if we as a Sangat, as a Pant, actually try to put someone down who's walking on this path, who has not given their head to the Guru yet. We can actually stop someone from doing this. So again, we should be very careful when we start, you know, judging other people. And that's not to say that, um, you know, we actually say that we just we can justify what those people have done saying that it's right of course it's not right but if you look in today's world you have to be realistic of what's going on so you know some people do certain things but we have to act in a way of daya of compassion a way of forgiveness not react so quickly and start to judge the other person so one example that we can look at um, something very something very recent in the news but something that's happened a lot as well if you speak to a lot of our Sikh brothers as well um, for example, when someone goes to a place like a club and the person is not allowed to enter because they're wearing a dastar. So this has happened many times in the past as well. And if we just look at this a bit more deeper, many people have missed the, one of the major points that's going on here. And that's the discrimination and the lack of education of a dastar. Okay, so the first thing is the discrimination and the lack of education from that person, the public. And then also from our own people as well, our own brothers and sisters. So that people don't know in the world that this isn't the start. It's not headgear, it's not a hat. This is something our Guru has blessed to us. So that's from the, the public side. Everyone who is not a Sikh, who doesn't know about this, the start. But if you look at a Sikh themselves, our own brothers and sisters, in one way we've kind of failed, we've not told people what is it the start, how important is it the start. So the start is not just a, a turban, it's a crown. It's a Nishani of the Guru, it's a sign that this is a Sikh of the Guru as well. 
something that we've not got across to people many times as well. So if someone is weighing this, they have a responsibility now. If we are practicing Sikh, then we now have a responsibility that if we're going to wear this to start, that wherever we go, we're representing the Guru as well. So Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj says to us, Siddhalo Tanahe. Siddhalo means take my head. Take this head and put it on your shoulders as well. Wear like you're wearing the face of the Guru. You have that crown, the Guru. Tanahe. Take this wealth, this wealth of Gurbani and say it on your tongue as well. So again, just look at this, how important it is. And not even just at the start as well, the, the actual hair that we have on our body as well. And again, another misconception that we have in the band is that it's just about the hair on our head, which in a way is incorrect. It's not just about the hair on your head, it's the hair on your entire body. When we say kiss, kiss does not mean hair. Kiss means uncut hair. If you're going to say hair, just say ball. But there's a big difference. When we keep our kiss, it means we keep this kiss as well. This hair on our, on our face or the hair on our arms, on our legs, etc. It's not just what's on our head. So remember that the whole case is so important to us. It's not just about the case on top of our head. That's very important as well, but it's all important. So again, this is a big responsibility now that we have as a practicing Sikh, that we have to bear this in mind. And if we don't wear the star, for example, and we just have a kara, that's still very important as well. It's an ashani of the Guru again. It's a sign of the Guru. So now with these hands, we always try and do the right actions. So if you're not in Sangat, then try and come into Sangat as well. If you like music, for example, then try and substitute for Kirtan. Come to Kirtan programs and you'll love it. It's so beautiful. If you like being active, then you can come and learn Gatka. You can come and do Seva in the Godara side. Trust me, washing Pande is not as easy as it looks. Especially you've got Big Patilya as well. So you can do that as well. And the uh, last thing you can also do is actually come to Q&As. If you like socializing and talking openly, then we have Q&As every Saturday and every Sunday evening in Birmingham up north and then here down south in London as well in Southall. So you can come to those and everyone is welcome and everyone can share their opinion and learn more about Sikhi in an open environment and not be judged as well. Again, we have people over there who are Amritari, the majority are not even Amritari, they're Sajtari. They may even cut their hair. They may even drink as well and do other things, but we're not there to judge them. We're there to say you're welcome and you're one of our brothers or sisters. Uh, you can come and you can learn about Sikhi as well in open environment. So just to conclude the video, we've talked about the responsibility. The aim of this video is what is the responsibility behind saying I'm a practicing Sikh? And we've talked about that we're trying our best to become a Guru Sikh. All we can do is try. And many people do make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Guru Sahib tells us that only Maharaj and Guru Sahib Ji cannot make mistakes. Apol Guru Karta, only them to themselves. So for that reason, let's not try and judge someone else. Let's look at it with compassion, with love, with forgiveness. And then hopefully we can all learn from this and we can become better Sikhs ourselves as well. So please forgive all the mistakes that have been made in this video. Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa. Vahe Guru Ji if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh.